Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Kieran Hogg, and in today's quick video, I'm going to show you how you can create a newsletter in GetResponse, also called a broadcast. So here I am in the GetResponse dashboard. Now, what all you want to do is just go here, or you can go here, and you can just say create newsletter. Very, very simple. Okay. Now, a newsletter is different from your autoresponder. A newsletter is something that you can click and you, it is more manual. So if you want to send it to at any particular time, you will just click on that. Now an autoresponder is something that you program, you set the time and the date for it, and it will just do it whether you are on your computer or not. Okay, so if you have something important to tell your audience that is a promotion or something that they can get value from and it's not in your autoresponder, this is where you'll do it. So you can just say, I'm just going to call this test. All right. So up there. And then this is the subject line. Okay. This is my email, Kieran at Kieran Hogg, Kieran at Kieran Hogg .com. This is the email that is going to send it to. So the audience is going to see, oh, it's coming from this address. And this is a subject line. So I will say, for example, did you see this? Now, here we can customize, we can put an emoji in here. So if I put fire, now if I wanna put there something in here about them, for example, I can do birth date, campaign city. Now one that I like to do quite often is first name, just because that creates more of a stronger relationship with your audience, right? So I could say first name, and that'll just be the name that they gave me and gave you when they sign up to your opt-in page or whatever it is that how you capture their email and then add recipient add recipients so depending on how many lists you have you could just use one list you could check select all lists it doesn't matter you can take one off it's up to you take multiple off I'll just put them all on there and now we are ready to design a message so I'm gonna say design message now we these are all pre-designed templates. You could use any of these in GetResponse. All right, you can have a blank template and HTML editor existing messages. Now I have in my own templates that I've saved and I will just use a very basic one for this. And it will just say in the beginning, hello or hi first name. And then it's got some of my free training, add me on Facebook, get my six figure free training here. So I can just say, uh, hmm. just something very, very simple. Um, I want to show you a simple method where you can earn, for example, 100. So I am, I've just finished recording product where they can have 100 to three dollar 300 dollars daily and it only takes 30 minutes to set up if you want to learn more you can check it out here for example now what you would do if you had a link here so you would just highlight that and then you can put the link in there if there's a video or for example you did a review you could get your YouTube review link or if you did it in Vimeo or Wistia whatever you could click it in here so I can just put any link in here for example my bonus one like so and then when they click on there it will take them to my particular review or whatever link that it is that you want them to see. Okay, oops. So we want to unlink that. All the best. So very, very simple, straightforward email. And then we can go on next and it will say, okay, you are good to go. And you can send a test message. You always wanna send a test message. Now you can send it to any email that you have in your particular whoops in your particular uh, catalog here and then 
Once you set, set that and it works, the link works as well, you can either send it immediately or you can schedule for later. So I'm doing this, it is November 17th, 2024, quite late at night. Now, depending, I'm in Taiwan, so you have to make sure that you get the time frame that you want. So for me, this is 12 hours ahead of New York time, Eastern Standard Time, so I would set this if I wanted it to be in, this would be 11.14 a.m., for example. So if I wanted it at 12.15, 12 I could just go like, like that, can move it, whoops, excuse me, move it to, there we go. And then when I send it at 12.15 a.m., it'll be 12.15 p.m., not the 18th, but the 17th, all right? So just dealing with different time frames. And then I would hit schedule, and then boom, you're ready to go. That is how easy it is to set a broadcast in Get Response. So now you can figure out how to do it, and you can blast that off very, very easily. All right, so that is how you're gonna do it. Thanks a lot for, for watching my tutorial here. I hope you got value from it, and hit that bell button so you're notified. Give me a like and a comment and all that good stuff, and I'll keep giving you more tasty tips. Until then, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.